that exact same freedom uh, that ultimately where we broke away um, from England is the exact same process that we have to go through in order to create freedom in our own life. There's struggle, there's pain, there's discomfort, there are battles. There is a process of which you are going to have to go through something to get the freedom that you desire. Welcome to the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ah, ooh, yeah. I am a lone wolf as well today. Joseph is out of town. He's actually in Croatia uh, with his daughter, which is just awesome. And the reason why he is in Croatia uh, with his daughter is because of the very topic that we're going to discuss today, which is freedom. And it's a timely topic because tomorrow is the 4th of July. So a lot of you are probably uh, vacationing and spending time with family and being dangerous with fireworks and all that good stuff. Uh, and happy 4th of July. But I wanted to talk real briefly on this episode of the Sales Wolves podcast about freedom. And where I want to start and begin is with the fact that freedom was paid for. Freedom was bought. There was a cost to freedom. And that freedom was conflict. That freedom was um, battles. That freedom was, was, you know, came from discomfort and struggle and pain. And that exact same freedom uh, that ultimately where we broke away um, from England is the exact same process that we have to go through in order to create freedom in our own life. There's struggle, there's pain, there's discomfort, there are battles. There is a process of which you are going to have to go through something to get the freedom that you desire. And so I wanted to kind of break this down and show you what freedom looks like um, with our company, the, try to, the kind of freedom we try to create uh, for our agents that work with us. And it really goes back to what I started with in the very beginning, the fact that Joseph's in Croatia right now with his daughter. And the reason he's able to do that is because he has created freedom in his life, freedom to be able to go do the things that he wants to do when he wants to do them. But only after massive action and massive amounts of work is put in. And so with our coordinators, with our agents across the country, uh, we have developed a process over this last year. Last year of 2018 was the first year we fully implemented this. And we call it the 4 by 25 And within our business, that means meeting with an average of 25 people a day for four days a week. So typically Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then taking Friday, Saturday, Sunday completely off. Then doing another four days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, massive, massive action. Then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, completely off. Another four days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then we highly, highly encourage, highly encourage. We can't force our agents. They're all 1099 independent business owners. We can't force them to do anything, but we highly recommend taking that entire next 10 days to be completely off, to do whatever in the world you want to do, because now you have bought, you have paid for the freedom to do whatever brings you joy, whatever you are passionate about, whatever provides you with the fulfillment that you ultimately want in life. But here's the thing, those four days in those three weeks, those four days, it's massive action, massive action massive action. And the reality is it's so much work during those four days that you could not sustain that long term. That's why it's done in short periods of time. And then you're given the adequate time to rest and have breaks after each four day period. And so we've talked about this in previous webinars. We've talked about our in previous episodes, sorry, We've talked about this idea of raising your thermostat, raising 
your temperature, which ultimately is raising your standard. And that one of those ways is by cramming in massive amounts of action, massive amounts of activity into short periods of time. This four by 25 method that we use creates that environment. Now, coincidentally, before we had a name for it, before it was an official structure with, the, with which we operate under as the 4x25, this was the way that I built my business with our organization. And it was really out of necessity. I didn't really plan it through and say, hey, I'm going to create this structure and this is going to be the ideal way for me to, to work this business. But it was because of the fact that I didn't live in my territory. And for those of you that have been following me for any amount of time, you probably remember uh, or have heard me at least talk about the fact that I was on the road 200 plus nights in a hotel every single year for three and a half years, a little over three and a half years. And so... I lived in Greenville, South Carolina. My territory was down in Georgia. So typically driving down to Georgia Sunday night, late or early Monday morning, coming back Thursday night. Well, if I'm going to be in another state, if I'm going to be away from my family, if I'm going to be by myself, then I'm going to cram as much possible activity, as much possible work as I can in those days that I'm gone. I'm going to squeeze every ounce of every second that I'm gone because if I'm not working or working out or sleeping, there's nothing else productive I can do. And I want to be able to enjoy my family, enjoy my time when I'm back home. So in those four days that I would be on the road, I would absolutely flat out work my face off Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And as I would drive back to South Carolina, literally as I'm driving up 85, headed towards South Carolina from Georgia, I would leave the work behind and come home to family and be all in. And really, this is something that Joseph and I um, have preached for a couple of years now within our organization. But we truly believe that as a society in here in the US, that we have a majority of people that are never truly off because they're never truly on. They just live in somewhere in the middle. They're never truly on at work. So when they get home, they're still on their phone. They're still checking emails on the computer. They're still thinking about all the stuff that they didn't do, thinking about the stuff that they have to make up for tomorrow, make up for next week. So they're never able to truly be off because they were never truly on. What ultimately that actually means is that they never are truly free. They're never truly free. They're never truly experiencing freedom because they're never truly experiencing the hard work that's required to get it. And so that's really what this four by 25 creates. And you know, those 25 people on average that we're seeing a day that may translate to something completely different for your business. If you're in sales and you're, you know, a financial advisor or you sell cars or you sell, you know, industrial supplies or you sell widgets or whatever in the world you do, adjust accordingly, but create an environment that forces you to put in massive action for short periods of time, and then also forces you to take that time off and to be able to have freedom during that time off because of the massive amounts of effort that were put in on the front end. To me, it's the, it's the ultimate way to live out your sales career, your business career, but it's really the ultimate way to live out your life because you're able to have true fulfillment, being able to go all in at work and then being able to go all in with your family, being able to go all in with your friends, be able to go all in in the other areas and interests and passions that you have. But remember that freedom, there's a cost to it. That freedom is paid for with the blood, sweat, and tears of the work that you've put in, just as the freedom tomorrow on July 4th was paid for with the blood, sweat, and tears of generations and generations ago. And so you know, as we go into this July 4th weekend, I encourage you to be completely off, completely off, meaning all in with your family. And when you come back to work, for those of you that are coming back on Friday, or that are, those of you that are coming back Monday morning, go all in and try to adopt this type of structure where you can put massive amounts of effort in 
And then you can spend massive amounts of time being free with your family. So with that, guys, this is episode 124 of the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ow!